So, this is version 0.5.1 pre-alpha of Fetch the Ferret, which, as you likely already guessed from the title, is the new public demo of the game. To download it, check the link in the description. So, I met up late. This demo was initially supposed to be a fixed version of the one I made for Edgecamp back in November. But, well, mostly due to school reasons, I had to delete it quite a bit. So, what's new since 0.5? Which, by the way, I never really got the time to properly show here on YouTube, except that, well, video of Edgecamp stream. Is my walking to the wall like that? <laughs> In this latest pre-alpha, I solved most of those dumb bugs and oversights that nearly made 0.5 unplayable for some. Like the auto camera being turned off by default, something that can't be done anymore by the way. Or the transition from level Dream 00 to Dream 01 being extremely unreliable. In 0.5.1 I've also added some new stuff like a bigger and greatly improved level design for Dream 00, a new less awkward looking walk on all fours animation, don't worry, I'll eventually redo most of animations from scratch, and a brand new track for Dream 00. It's definitely different from most of my tracks, but I'm quite satisfied with what I pulled off so far. Before closing this summary of this new version, I unfortunately have to say that it's not bug free, not by a long shot. Some the fact that I wanted to release it before the end of 2018 to some unreasonable Unity bugs, like level loading being not as stable as it should be, or post-processing transitions not working as out of Unity's editor, which resulted in a clearly worse looking second level. Like at the right you can see how it looks like while I'm working on it, and how it looks like in the demo. So you get the point, the result is an overall pretty rough demo. I'll hopefully try to address these issues in the next demo, which is scheduled for the beginning of February. I think that's all for this update. If you made it this far, well, first of all, thank you. And second of all, as much as I'd love to post more frequently videos about my game here on YouTube, it takes time. So if you want to be updated more often about the development, consider checking my Twitter profile. I'm definitely more active there. Also, don't worry, I won't clog your timeline with retweets. Or you could also join Fetch the Ferret's Discord server. It's a pretty nice place. Besides Fetch, here we mostly talk about games, development or share some memes every now and then. It's also full of... wait, can I call it fan art? Well, drawings about Fetch made by some lovely members. And with that said, 